For a long time, one of the most requested features in Prisma was support for multiple schema files. So if you're a Prisma developer, you know you've got this schema.prisma file that lives in the Prisma directory. This is where all your models go that represent your tables. And before version 5.15, you couldn't have multiple of these. You could only ever just have one. However, many developers want to have multiple schema files. And that's for good reason. Sometimes it gets unwieldy working on a very large schema file if you've only got that one file. And if you've got many teams working at a company, very often there's different teams working on different domains. So being able to split those schema files out into smaller bits and then having different teams work on those different files, that can improve workflow quite a bit. So why don't we take a look today at how to use multiple schema files and how to think about organizing them. The first thing we'll need to do is grab the preview feature. So over here in our schema file, let's grab a preview feature and we want Prisma schema folder. Now in the Prisma directory, we can create that schema folder. So over here in Prisma, new directory called schema. Next, we can move our main schema into it. So we'll just drop that into there, into schema. We'll hit move. Now what we can do is we can create any new schema files we might want. So in this main schema file, this demo file we've got, we've got a user model and a post model. And so one of the easiest ways perhaps to think about splitting things apart into different files might be to just take maybe this user model and this post model and to put them into their own files. So let's try that. Let's create a new schema here. We'll do new file and we'll do user.prisma. Then let's have another new one and we'll call it post.prisma. That's in the wrong spot. Let's move it into the schema directory here. Move that. All right, then we just need to cut and paste things. So we'll take the user model here. We'll cut that into the user.prisma file. Then post is going to have the same thing. Cut that over into post. So that's good to go. And we'll save our main file as well. So at this point, there's nothing in the main schema file except for some of our configuration. Just to prove out that this will work to give us a good database migration, why don't we grab a new database? Over here at console.prisma.io, so the Prisma data platform, we can start a new Postgres database in just a few clicks. So for the name of this project, we can do something like multiple schema files. Let's choose Prisma Postgres. We'll click Get Started there. It's in early access right now. It's totally free to try out. Once general availability comes along, there will be a very generous free tier as well. We'll configure the default region as US East and create that project. Okay, so after just a few seconds, we're connected to the database. We'll grab these keys here, the database URL and the Pulse API key. Let's come over here and paste that into the environment file. So let's take that out, paste in our new keys, and we'll close that up. Next, we can do npx prisma migrate dev. We'll give it a name and that could just be init. And it looks like we are generated here. Just to prove that this is now all in the database, let's go over to the Prisma Data Platform and we'll click into Studio. So Prisma Studio is available right here in the console and we can see that we've got a post table and a user table. So that's what's in those two schema files. So everything works as expected. Now splitting out our schema into multiple files. We've got our post.prisma, our user.prisma. We keep that schema.prisma in the main file that we had before. And now we're free to break out our schema further into any way that we might want to. Now this example here of using one model per file, that's not really practical. That's not something we're going to do in the real world. A pattern that we might want to consider though is to break things apart into different domains. So for example, there might be different teams working on different sections of the application, different domains. And so perhaps one team is working on finance. So we might have something like finance.prisma and this could be anything related to invoices, invoice line items, orders, that kind of thing. So we'd have everything related to finance in our finance.prisma file. Then perhaps there's a section of the application and a team of developers dedicated to working on product stuff. So we could have our product.prisma file here. And in here, perhaps it's any modeling related to products that are sold and any kind of tables that need to hold information about product variations and sizes and colors and that sort of stuff. So having different domains and splitting apart our schema into different domains in this fashion can be a good way to organize things. It keeps things nicely separated, different teams get to work on their different parts, and then ultimately all of these models get tied together in the end. Now ultimately the way that you work with your multiple schema files is going to depend on your situation and how your team works. 
Perhaps this is a good type of layout for you, perhaps not. But the key here is that we've got a lot of flexibility now that we're able to split things apart into multiple different files. You can try out working with multiple schema files yourself, opting into the preview feature. And again, that preview feature is Prisma Schema Folder. If you'd like to try out Prisma Postgres, that's at console.prisma.io. And there you'll be able to spin up a new Postgres database in a matter of seconds. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.